If you are getting negatives or if you're just staring at a stark white test, that test does not define the outcome of your journey. It is one single moment. It's one single glimpse. and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again. If you're new here, then my name is Mariah and for the last 14 months, I have been on a journey to conceive rainbow baby number one with my husband, Jeremy. Please go ahead and watch the video linked up above in the cards. It's gonna get you all caught up to speed in under 10 minutes. If you are a returning subscriber, then thank you so much, ladies and gents, for continuing to come back and support us along this process. So as most of you know, I was waiting on my box of Pregmates to come because that is my test preference of choice. And to my surprise, when it came, they have a new packaging. So it's a very like minimalistic packaging now. It just comes with a sticker on it and it's pretty much just a cardboard box. And at first I was like, huh, I kind of missed the old packaging because it was bright and colorful. But at the same time, this is much better for the environment. And they even changed this packaging too, which is Kind of a cute, funky new design. Or at least it's new for me. I mean, the last box I bought was <laughs> over a year ago now, so. I know that was completely random and off the wall, but it was something that was interesting to me. So I do have my first morning urine here, even though it's not the morning time, but I did collect that this morning. Now, I think I only got about a five-ish hour hold, maybe a six hour hold, because I had to go to bathroom really bad really early in the morning. And as you guys can see, it's a fresh test. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dip it. One, two, three. And I'm gonna lay it flat and cover it up for the five minutes. While we are waiting for that to process, I'll let you guys know that between last night and mainly this morning, like in the wee hours of the morning, I had some heavy uterus kind of pains and also I don't I wouldn't even call it cramping. Maybe it was like a dull type of cramping. It's really it's really a hard feeling to describe or for me to be able to articulate, but it was almost like a very dull cramping slash like almost if someone was twisting something into your side kind of feeling. I don't know, it was really weird, but who knows, that could possibly be a sign that implantation is occurring potentially. I don't really know. We're gonna, I guess, wait and see. Other than that, I'm still very hopeful for this cycle that we'll be able to get our positive and we're gonna stay positive in the meantime while we are waiting. I wanna also stress to you guys that like, I know it gets really hard and it gets really frustrating when it comes to testing. And for some of you, it's really saddening and um, difficult for you guys to see negative tests and things of that sort because you're not getting the answer and the outcome that you want. I really just wanna stress to you guys that if you're getting negatives or if you're just staring at a stark white test, that test does not define the outcome of your journey. It is one single moment. It's one single glimpse along a road that might be kind of long for you know some of you or some of us and a road that might come with many challenges and many difficulties but just keep in mind that even if a test is negative even if you are not seeing those two lines yet that doesn't determine or mean that that is gonna be the ultimate outcome of your journey. So I really wanna just go ahead and mention that just as a form of encouragement to you guys and something that I like you guys to keep in mind because I do know there are women out there. Sometimes you guys comment on my channel and other times I see your post on Instagram about how upset you are about the negatives and I get it I truly do I understand I've been there before my mentality is uh just a little bit different and I'm in a little bit different of an emotional space right now but I do understand and I do truly empathize but girlfriend we're gonna get there it is it is gonna be all right and we're gonna get to our take-home babies okay guys the time is officially up and we're gonna go ahead and look at it of course as per our tradition I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys look at it first and then I will look at it after. And hopefully that's focusing. Let me guys know if you say anything. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and look at it. And it's negative. 
So very much a stark white test. This, ooh, I'm not too sure about these though. I've never had, at least on the other batch of tests I had, I never had a line that looks the way this one does. It looks squiggly, almost like, it's not just a straight rectangular up and down kind of line. It almost looks like if you drew it with a very thin pen or like a very thin tip Sharpie. I'm trying to get in close so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about, but I've never had these, meaning I've never had Pregmates look this way. So I'm hoping that there's nothing wrong with this batch. That would be highly disappointing if there was, but this test is definitely negative. There's no doubt about that. So I will see you guys tomorrow for another test at 11 DPO. Okay guys, I'm back to go ahead and take another test. Today is cycle day 26 and 11 DPO. I once again woke up at like 4 a.m. or I think it was like 3.51. I don't know what it is with me lately in the three o'clock hour, but I keep on waking up at that time. So if I'm not pregnant this cycle, I will be looking forward to at least being able to go back to my CBD tincture for sleep because this whole not sleeping through the entire night thing is starting to kill me. Okay, so here is the fresh test. It's blank as you can see and Still have my first morning urine, even though it was really early. And we're gonna go ahead and dip. One, two, three, and lay it flat for five minutes. Okay guys, the time is up. So it's time to go ahead and look at this test. As you can see, it's covered. So you guys can look at it first. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and look at it. And nothing, it's definitely negative. Yeah, super stark white, so that's a negative for 11 DPO, so we're just gonna keep the ball rolling. AF is expected to show in the next two to three days, three being the absolute max. I'm kind of thinking that she might show in two days, but we'll just go ahead and keep testing and wait and see. I'm just gonna stay positive and stay hopeful. There's still a whole whopping two to three days that I could potentially get this positive, so we'll just keep on testing and see. Well, that's it for this video, guys. You already know the drill. If you like this video, give us a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to join our tribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads and that's it i am sending you all baby dust i'm sending you all positive vibes i am sending you all lots of love and i will see you in the next video hope you guys have an amazing week bye